Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to bring you an app review, this one of Air Sharing Pro by Avatron. Now this is a um, critically acclaimed app. Um, it's got good reviews, but I'm just going to show you today what it does. It's pretty much, um, as they describe it, a wireless external hard drive. What you can act, what you can do is you can set up servers connected to your mail, your, um, your website, your um, home network drive, like your C drive, and I'm just going to run you through its features and um, what it can do. So over here we have a um, question mark and that's pretty much all the help topics. It gives you an intro, um, all the settings, and it shows you how to connect from iPhone to iPhone, which you can do on this version. Uh, connect to your Mac, Windows, Linux, um, and uh, troubleshooting as well. Uh, there's all that stuff. Right here, it shows you all your connections and what your IP address is. Um, so you can even connect to uh, Bonjour, um, but uh, like if you have Safari, so you can do that. Um, over here, you have your settings, and right here is your sharing, and that's your port number, um, and if you want to enable it or not. So if you even want to use the app, you can put on security so um, your uh, network doesn't get hacked into, and you can even put an application lock on here like you do with your... Um, like iPhone password and so no one can use the app if they can't uh, put in the password you can put on a sleep function which um, you just put it on sleep if uh, you know you don't want to be sharing that whole time because it does run the battery out um, but you don't want to do that when you're transferring big files because it will close out and you can do slideshows with all the photos and um, configure the file browser and sorting options so let's get started um, here are the servers you can do. You can set up, oops, sorry. Uh, you can set up a mail server with um, all the main clients, and um, so you know you just do that, add your information, and it'll set it up just like the uh, application for mail. But I, I would probably use the mail application instead of this. So, but you know it's whatever. Uh, you can set up an SSH with your um, computer, which is what I did with an FTP thing. Uh, I could have done that FTP, but I just decided not to. Um, this one, you know, you can set it up with your site, um, you can set it up with your home network, uh, but like if you had a site, you can put that in, and you can view your file browser. If you have a WordPress thing, you can view um, documents being downloaded in real time. Uh, you can even transfer files, I'm pretty sure. MobileMe is Mac stuff, and there's all the rest of the clients that they um, allow. So the web dev is pretty much a... Um, each one of these things that connects a server to your computer. So I have a couple set up. I have our mail, and um, I'm just going to show you my home network. It's connected through a um, core FTP program. It's a free one. It's I'm pretty sure you might know it if you know what an FTP is, but it connects to my computer, and I just set it up. It runs in the system tray, and you just put it in an account. Like you just make a password and a username, and you want um, and you write the port number. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then you put the root that you want to start at. So I started at my C drives because I want to go out from that. And uh, but you can do it all the way to one folder if that's what you want. So I set it up to my C drive and it examines the directory contents. And up here, it's a new thing that pops up, but it shows you it's pretty much a directory list. So it shows you all what you're in. Like if you go to Home Network, then Documents, and then a folder and a file, it'll show you that list. And then you can go back to the home page or you can go to my documents on the iPod. Uh, so I'm going to go to my documents and settings. So as you can see, it changes and then it goes into, you know, a, um, a like, nest kind of. Um, go to mine. And you can um, view high quality photos in HD on here and you can download them as HD. You can download mus your own music and... Um, your videos but it might take a while depending on your connection speed and it does even time out from time to time so that's kind of a, a, a beef I have with it but um, I, I just have a bad inter connect, internet connection to start with so I don't blame it I'll show you the uh, how you can download music it has its own integrated um, whoops it has its own integrated music player just like the i or the app um, so I'll just get one here so every time you go in a new folder, it examines the directory contents, you know, make sure everything's there. And um, so it'll just download small, um, pretty small file. Um, but it, I'll just uh, show you when it's loaded, so I'll come back to that in a second. 
Alright, so now the uh, music has started going. And it, it downloads it in like the exact quality, so it, that's pretty cool. So yeah, um, that's the uh, that's downloading music. Now I'm going to show you um, file um, options. I'm going to go back to my documents and I'm going to take this file right here, 1984 essay right here, and you can edit the files. And I'll just click on that one right there. It kind of takes a while to um, to do. Like it'll it'll kind of lag up, but it does it. And then you go down here to this little gear and you can do all these different things you can select all of them you can um, copy the link rename and move and all this this is only available on the pro version which is 10 or 9.99 and then there's a second version in air sharing not light but just air sharing and it only you can only really um, do like half of this with this version you can do um, PDFs email you can print them up to a hook them up to a server with a Mac um, and you can do all these kind of file editing uh, options. So I'm going to copy this, and then it'll go up here in the corner in a pa little paper clip, and then I'll go to my desktop, and I'll just save it uh, in here. So I'll just paste one item, and it takes that little file and just pastes it right in there. So that's the file sharing things. You can't share it between the servers, like you can't share between the home network right here and you know the website FTP so that's a little um, discouraging but that's another con like another beef of mine and so you know not that much but um, yeah um, so that's pretty much the app um, that's all the stuff you can do with it so remember there's two versions there's air sharing and air sharing pro if you're a big file share you love to share um, you know, you want to share business stuff and uh, email, this is a great one, the uh, 999. But if you're just a casual user and want to just connect to your computer, then this is a, the, or the 299 version is a, um, a good uh, substitute. Um, so this is uh, Air Sharing by Avatron. I'll leave links in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and comment and like the video, I guess. You can't rate it anymore. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.